the stream. Anna gently walked towards the stream of muddy rain water. She bent a little and launched a paper boat. It sailed down the stream swiftly and proudly. She went on placing a number of paper boards in the stream. She was delighted. Suddenly, something horrible happened. An angry girl, a fat boy, pounced on one of her boards and pulled it. He turned the ball upside down. Anna stared at the boy. He was fat and dirty. He didn't mind Anna's angry face. Anna ran home. A solution. Anna's aunt Arunthati was sitting in an armchair. Anna's face was red with anger. She pouted her lips and said, That naughty boy, he overturned my boat, she said. Don't worry, I will make another one for you. And Arunthati tried to console her. What if he takes that one too? Okay then, I will make a few more for you. What if he takes all of them? No, he won't. I will make a few for him as well. But why should you make bots for him? He seems to be a poor child. Then why can't he make them himself? He's so big. Maybe no one has taught him how to make bots. Why? Doesn't he go to school? He's so rude. And Arundhati just smiled. Good guidance. In no time, a board was ready and then a few more. Finally, she gave all the boards to Anna and said, Here, go and have fun. Clutching the boards tightly, Anna started walking hesitantly towards the stream. The boy was still there. He looked at her curiously. Anna took out two not so good boards and held them out. Here you are. She handed the boards over to the boy without the trace of a smile. The boy took them and just stood there quietly. He didn't know what to say. A true friendship. Anna gently launched her boat. Swiftly, the boat sailed down the stream. The boy stood there watching it. A faint smile appeared on his lips. Anna looked at the boy through the corner of her eyes. Suddenly, she saw the boy getting caught in a heap of mud and stones. Water splashed against it and slowly flooded it. In a flash, the boy jumped into the stream and pulled the boat out of the water. He gave it to Anna. She took the boat and smiled. The boy smiled back pleasantly. Anna gently placed another board in the stream. It sailed swiftly and drifted past. Soon it was out of sight. Anna and the boy looked at each other and smiled. 